Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math algebra problem and here we have m to the power of 4 equals to minus 64 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this minus 64 to the left hand side and it will be written as m to the power of 4 plus 64 equals to 0 and now we rewrite this equation as we write this m to the power of 4 as m square and its whole square plus we write the 64 as 8 square and this whole equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here uh, we use the nice uh, square identity and you know about this identity if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus uh, b square plus 2 times of ab so we need to use this nice square identity in the left hand side of this equation so uh, according to use this identity we need uh, the term 2 times of ab because here we have this m square is over a and this 8 is over b so we need this term 2 times of ab so that here we add or subtract this term 2 times of ab and we rewrite this equation as m square and its whole square plus 8 square plus 2 times of ab so our a is m square and our b is 8 and we subtract this term also and we get 2 times of m square into 8 so now uh, here uh, we focus on all these uh, terms and we combine all these terms and we return as m square and plus 8 uh, and its whole square so this is the completing square of m square plus 8 and we get minus 2 times of 8 is equals to minus 16 times of m square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here we use another uh, algebraic identity and you know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice algebraic identity uh, in the left hand side of the bar equation mm -hmm. so here you focus that uh, m square plus 8 is over a and we rewrite this equation as uh, so we first rewrite this term as m square plus 8 and its whole square minus we write this as 4 times of m and its whole square equals to 0. So now we use this uh, square identity uh, in this equation and we write this term as m square plus 8 minus 4m into m square plus 8 plus plus 4m and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we have two cases here. So first we convert or we take this m square plus 8 minus 4m equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 8 plus 4m equals to 0. And now in the next step, we need to, uh, to solve these two equations, these two quadratic equations because our target is to find the value of m. So first we rewrite both of these equations as m square minus 4m plus 8 equals to 0. And we rewrite this equation as m square plus 4m plus 8 equals to 0. So, uh, because these are the quadratic equations and now uh, we use the quadratic formula in order to solve these equations. Uh, so, here first we write the coefficients of both of these equations are. So, here we have a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 8. So, in this case we have a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 8. So, these are the coefficients of both equations. And we know that our quadratic formula will be looks like in this form m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now we substitute uh, these values of a, b, c in this formula and these values. So we have two cases here. 
so now first we uh, put these values in this formula and we get our m equals to minus b and we have the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so our b is minus 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and this whole divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1. So now we simplify these terms and we have minus times of minus becomes plus 4 plus minus square root of minus 4 square equals to 16 and 4 times of 8 equals to 32 and this whole divided by 2. So now in the next step we have our m equals to 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 and its whole square divided by 2 and we have our m equals to uh, 4 plus minus here we know that the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of negative term is iota and this whole divided by 2 and now in the next step here we separate these terms and we write it as m equals to 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 iota so these terms are cancelled out by each other and we get the value of m equals to 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the first two roots of the given equation and these roots are complex roots so now in order to find the other roots uh, we need to solve uh, the second case and in the second case here we substitute uh, these values of a b and c in this nice formula and we get here our m equals to minus b and the value of b is 4 so it will become minus 4 plus minus square root of 4, 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and this whole divided by 2 times of a so uh, now we simplify these terms and we have m equals to minus 4 plus minus 4 square and our 4 square is 16 minus 4 times of 8 is 32 and its whole square root divided by 2. So in the next step, uh, we have, uh, we need to simplify these equations and we have minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 equals to minus 16 and its whole square root divided by 2. So again you see here, uh, we have 16 uh, and minus sign occurs inside the square root so uh, we know that the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of minus 1 is iota divided by 2 and now again uh, we separate these terms and we write it as our m equals to minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 over 2 iota so here you get the other roots of the given equation are minus 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the four complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos